everybody. Siki here. What's up? Oh, wait a minute. And <clears throat> we're still recovering, y'all, but it is all good. So here we go. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. A, A, A. And y'all already know. Y'all already can tell that. I'm coming to you with another video. A, coming to you with another video. Vicky, Vicky. <laughs> Pause for the cause. Before we get started, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel because, side note, side note, it is like 8 a.m. in the morning and I'm getting ready for work, okay? So that's why I'm not all the way on the rooftop. I haven't even had my coffee yet, okay? But I am coming to you guys with another video and it's going to be about this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. Now, I hear a lot of people referencing a lot of different songs, but the song that comes to mind because y'all know I gotta have a song for everything, right? But the song that comes to mind when I hear this is from Eric B and Rakim. I think that's what it is. It's don't wait, how's it go? Wait, I can't stop. <laughs> I think that's the early 90s. Y'all may or y'all may not know. So I am only gonna be using this foundation, a primer, a little bit of corrector under my eyes because your girl has a situation going on right here. And I am gonna take you with me throughout the day. I have work. Um, I have some errands short after work and then I have church later on. So it is like 8 a.m. this morning and then I will be coming back to you guys probably like 10 p.m. So we really going to see what to do. First, let's get to correcting under the eyes and I'm using the Makeup Forever R50. I'm not going to use a corrector on my face because I'm hearing that the coverage on this bad boy is all the way popping. Plack it out. Let me give you the name. NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop Won't Stop full coverage foundation. I have the shade Sienna. It is a collaboration with a fellow YouTuber, Alyssa Ashley. Congratulations. She collaborated with NYX, which you guys, some people say NYX, some people say NYX. I just say NYX, but she collaborated with them on coming out with a range of 45 shades. And I'm here to tell you that when I was picking my shade, there's 45 of them, right? They had a lot of, um, olive and golden undertones for real because I have olive and golden in my skin and I had a hard time picking my shade. But I'm going to tell you that the main reason I had a hard time picking my shade was because it oxidizes like a whole lot, okay? So I'm putting like four or five swatches on my face and I'm like, okay, this one looks like it's going to work. Oh, but after five minutes, I don't think so. Okay, this one looks like it's going to work, but after five minutes, I don't think so. So I was literally at Ulta for a good probably a good hour just swatching, swatching on my hand, which I will insert pictures of like the five that I was trying to make a decision on. I didn't know if I was going to get um, Cappuccino, Deep Sable, or Sienna. I think those were the three runner-ups. What we about to do is pull my mirror hither too, <laughs> because it's real. I need to see. And this is my everyday work face and I usually rock glasses to work. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face. I'm not even rocking lashes because we don't do that during the week. Okay. And then we're going to rock the foundation. I'm going to pop on this concealer by Maybelline Age Rewind. And let me pause for the cause right, right quick. Because I do want to tell you guys some other videos that will be coming up. I also grabbed the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. I grabbed that. Uh, we'll talk about the shade later. And... Maybelline also sent me their new collection, um, the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. So they sent me that. It has a little sponge on the tip. And you know, I love doing foundation first impressions. So get ready. Mm, mm, get ready. But like I said, I am not going to use any corrector on my face. And I promise y'all, I usually do correct like right up and through here because it just makes life all the way great. But we're not going to do that today because we're we don't have to do, whoa, that thing squirts out of that pump. Now I can appreciate that there's a pump. I can appreciate that the pump is black. This actually reminds me of the Lancome foundation, not the actual consistency and not, you know, not anything else but the bottle. Okay. I haven't tried it. Look at it just sitting there on my hand. Like it's really not running down. Oh, it's not liquefied girl. It has a real creamy consistency. I'm trying to make her come on down. Now she's coming and let's see what she's looking like. I really can't see my monitor, no lie. It's like blurry, but oh, she thick, honey. She thick. And I am praying, girlfriend, that this is the best match because I let those jokers sit for a long time to see if this one was right. And out of all of them, this one gave me the best gold undertone 
the best um, olive undertone. It just gave me the best of what I needed out of all the ones I tried. I believe that this foundation is one of those foundations that you are going to have to test out. You may want to get a couple to try because if you just go off of swatches on somebody's hand and you think, or if you go by the description and you think that's going to fit you, by the time you get it, it will change colors a little bit. And so I just recommend, my personal recommendation is going into the store and I'm so glad I did. I love the way it squirts out though. Like, look at this. It just like, pew. We're not going to even contour. We're not going to do a blush. I'm just going to do a highlighter on my cheek to make it look real supple like. Like I have that glow from within, if you will. And it claims to be extremely transfer proof and people are raving about it being transfer proof. The only way to tell if a foundation is truly transfer proof is to test it before you put powder and all that stuff in and to test it also before you get all oily because I can guarantee you, well, I'm not going to guarantee you, but I, if I was a betting woman, I would put money on it that once my oil starts seeping through, especially on my nose, that you're going to get some transfer when I blot. I mean, come on, because it's breaking it down. Let's let that set while we use this concealer by Maybelline. Don't play me right now, Maybelline. You got to come on through here. I be, I'm not going to do the transfer test under my eye because I'm setting this with the powder, but I will try it like on my forehead or something. One ounce, one fluid ounce, girl. And I believe I paid $14.99 for this foundation. So it's kind of up there with the um, Iman Cosmetics Foundation. I don't feel like I need to set this at all. Okay, see, do you guys see? Or maybe, maybe I can see clearly now that the glasses are on. I can see clearly now the glasses are on. But that is flawless. And I think I'm gonna try her without powder. This is the Becca Chocolate Geode, and I really like it because it's like natural looking. And so when I don't wear blush or anything, I just pop this on so that it looks like my skin is super healthy. It is, but it makes it look more healthy. No blush. It has been probably like five minutes. I don't know if that's long enough. If that doesn't work, I'll try it again later. But let's try like down here because that's where I didn't put any powder. Okay, there is a little bit of transfer. So I don't know what people are talking about no transfer. Okay, now right here, I didn't really see a lot of transfer. So maybe it has settled all the way in. Not really a lot of transfer. I don't know if you can really see that. I will check in with you guys throughout the day and we will see how it's going. I'm gonna take my other camera, all right? So I'll see y'all later. What's up, good people? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I... Looks like I'm going to have to get out of the car and let y'all see what I'm working with. Let me do that real quick because I need to get my butt into work. I've had this on for, I don't know, maybe like an hour. But let me get you some good lighting, girl. Let me get it. Let's get it. There she is. Plaque out. So I want you to see. And also, no powder. <laughs> that highlight, though. But it's working well with this concealer. I do feel like when I add a powder though, I feel like my highlighter goes on a little more buttery. So um, next time I will be rocking a powder, but we just want to see how it operates without a powder. And I think that it can hold its own. Okay, hold on, let me see if anyone's in here. Okay, just want to make sure I was about myself. I told you guys that I was going to keep you posted. I came to the restroom real quick. I took a little quick break because I wanted to update you guys. And I kind of felt like I had the urge to black because I felt like oils were coming through. But it's really like, dude, I did not set with the powder and I ain't mad. But I'm going to tell you that I think this is a foundation that you will not have to set with the powder. And if you do set with the powder, especially like a mattifying powder, it will make you more dry because I'm feeling a little dry. So this stuff is definitely matte. Not super uncomfortable dry, but dry in a sense that I feel like I'm wearing foundation. It is now 535. And so this is what the foundation is looking like, y'all. And I honestly feel like I can blot, but I'm trying not to blot because I'm trying to wait till I get home from church tonight to show y'all what it looks like when we blot. But I'm still impressed. Like, I do not have on a powder. Do y'all understand? I love the fact that it is matching me perfectly. It still looks good. Once you have that initial oxidization, if I said that right, y'all, once you have that initial one, you're good to go. Let me show you my time so that you know the time is real. 
It is 11.13 p.m. now. And I did just come from church. And I am going to give you a close-up per the huge, okay? But we had a good old time at church. And I ended up having to, like, you know, kind of blow my nose. I know it's TMI, but I got to let you know what went down, okay? But other than that, that's the only thing I did. And I kind of wiped under my eyes a little bit, you know what I mean? Because it was just that kind of service. But let's give you a little close-up action and I'm going to have to remove my glasses real quick. Here we go. Hey, once upon a... No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, this is what it's looking like. Of course, we have like my glasses marks. But for me to have wiped it off like in this area, that's where you see some of the foundation going away. But other than that, check that out. And check that out. Like... It ain't half bad, right? But I told you guys, by the end of the day, you're going to have like transfer because by the time your oils seep through, I had a little transfer actually before I left. Not a whole lot, but by the time those oils seep through and if you have on a powder, like transfer is inevitable, okay? I'm not going to say it's the most comfortable foundation though because after I blew my nose and stuff, I was feeling that, you know, like that dryness again that I was telling you guys earlier. So if you have dry skin, I don't know how it's going to work for you, but it really is a great foundation and I'm pretty impressed. But let me hit you with these specs right quick. Oh, snap. It's only at Ulta. What? Okay. It says it is full coverage foundation. It hustles as hard as you do. I don't hustle. I don't grind. I just do me. Okay. But it says this comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. We already went through that. Every creamy shade glides on smooth. This is true. Delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours. It's been 15. We're not doing 24. This little overachiever here also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long with just a dip a dab a do ya. But it doesn't stop there. This foundation is non-comonogenic you know, non-comonogenic, y'all know what I'm saying, and suitable for normal, oily combination and sensitive skin types. Now it says normal, it says oily, it says combination, and it says sensitive skin types, but I didn't see nothing about dry. But you're going to have to test that out to see if it works for you. If you are looking for an everyday foundation, this will get you all the way right. You don't even have to set it. Like you don't even have to worry about getting a powder that matches. Like this is all to the good. I guess a con, if I had to pick a con about this foundation, is that it can feel a little bit drying. Like you can feel that it kind of, I don't know, um, I don't know how to really describe it, but if you've ever like overwashed your face, like say you're supposed to wash your face a couple times a day. Let's say you wash it like three times a day and you're feeling just a little drier than normal because it's kind of sucking up the moisture in your skin, I do feel like it can be drying like that. So be careful if you have dry skin or maybe even use a hydrating primer. But that is it for this video, you guys. Do not forget to join the winners, bam, bam, girl, because we would love to have you, okay? And that is it, you guys. Um, don't forget to thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me some feedback. Let me know what's up. Let me know if you tried this foundation. Let me know if you like this foundation. Let me know if you're not here for it. Like, give me some feedback. Let me know what's up. All right. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. See, keep beauty makeover.